We could have ended the brutal murder of children by abortion by now if we'd wanted to. If we'd have had the right political and spiritual leadership, the sheep, we would have followed. We would have sacrificed. But instead, what did we do? We voted our pocketbooks. Okay? If you look at the voting patterns of Christians, of every denominational background, you will find that the vast majority of them vote for self-interest, usually money or how money is spent. Okay, so they're putting their pocketbooks ahead of innocent human life. That does sound like 30 pieces of silver. That does sound like Judas, doesn't it? And so I'm starting to think I've thought for some time that God is going to touch us and judge us at the very place where we betrayed him and his babies, our pocketbooks, our money. Illegal immigrants that are soon to be granted amnesty, they are going to help decimate a lot of people's jobs. If you look at the jobs that have been lost through NAFTA going south of the border, and then to China with most favored nation status and the, and the free trade agreements that we have with China, you will see millions upon millions of good, decent jobs that are gone for the foreseeable future, okay? They are lost to us. The money that was there for us, gone. And I just heard a, a statistic the other day, I, I, I haven't checked it, but the person was knowledgeable. They said that $240 million a week goes through Western Union from America to Mexico. $240 million a week. Now, the concept of the economy is I buy something and then that store owner goes and buys something and then that person goes and buys something and that store owner says, hey, I'm gonna send a check to the Voice of Resistance because I really like their work and they send us a check and then we have some money. And so it, it, it works like that. We, 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 we trade dollars, we trade expertise, we trade labor. But now, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars is fleeing the country. The money's not being spent here. And so we're losing jobs because those people are here, but we're also losing jobs because the money that would have been spent in America to, to create jobs is going south of the border. Do you see it? We have voted not to save babies, but to save our pocketbooks. And it's our pocketbooks that are being hammered right now. We put money ahead of human life and the commandments of God Almighty. And God is saying, that's your idol? That's to whom you bow? That's your golden calf? Well, I've dealt with golden calves before. So, if you think, uh, think uh, who, who, gets to, who gets to speak for themselves? All of us. The only people who can't speak for themselves are people who are either on a deathbed or they're mute, right? I mean, most of us can speak for ourselves, but not a baby. A baby can't cry for mercy. A baby cannot cry for help. A baby cannot run away. A baby cannot use self-defense. A baby cannot coalesce with other babies and form a union or form an advocacy group. No, they are completely at the mercy of others. Completely at the justice of others. And we've turned our back on those babies. And we've put money, filthy lucre, all right? Filthy lucre we've put ahead of babies' lives with our voting patterns. The data is out there. And so, I think we have secured the judgment of God against us. I think, we have, I think we have ensured that God is going to bring judgment on our economy because we put our economy ahead of innocent blood and it has made the Most High very displeased.
I have been a leader in the pro-life movement for 30 years. And sadly, we have not prevailed in our goal to make it a criminal act to kill an unborn baby. There's reasons why we have failed. I wrote this book, a humble plea, to Catholic bishops, to evangelical clergy, and to lay people explaining where we went wrong and what we have to do to prevail. We've made this available as a PDF online for free. I encourage you to go and download your own copy. We have put together what we call an online university for you. Now that's a highfalutin way of saying that we have a pretty significant library of material, books, tapes, videos, that are there for you for free. Why are we doing this? Because America is desperate for new leaders and because this material could help you to become the leader that you and God want you to be. Check it out and enjoy it.